They ain't supposed to do this, are they? That's how my day's going. He's uh, cruising to work this morning in my little car here and uh, I went to turn on the road that I normally take and tap my brakes and get ready to slow down, turn my signal light on and all of a sudden I hear a great big bang and a whole bunch of smoke started coming out of this wheel well here and first I thought maybe my brake caliper or something broke and hung up and look back see if I ran anything over real quick or whatever and this thing's skidding along and trying to get it off the road all at the same time and wonder what in the heck so it's at a dead stop and won't move no more I throw it in reverse to see if I can move it to do anything and it just does nothing so I go what the heck I got out and I come over here and the front tire was like that shoved all up in there full of gravel all packed in uh, my bolts in my bottom ball joint here broke you can see that one there the head's gone and this one here is broke off up inside so it uh, it gets driven hard on rough roads and I treat it like a pickup truck basically so all the rough roads and all the pounding and it's got a couple hundred thousand miles on and I'm sure it's time for it to wear out so what I gotta do is my axle shaft isn't even connected to the transmission anymore and I gotta make sure that the splines on the transmission ain't screwed because if they are this car is done but I gotta get that tire off and start taking things apart here and see what I can fix. Otherwise, I'm gonna be sticking some money into one of those two. Whichever one's cheaper, that one there is gonna need a distributor. It runs a little rough. And then that one there, I gotta basically register into my name and have to put insurance on it and whatever else. But then I can just take and transfer the plates off of this one onto that one I called for a knuckle because I don't even think I'll attempt retapping that and trying to get new bolts put into that and a new knuckle is five hundred and seventy nine dollars which is uh, more than I paid for this car so I did find one on eBay if I can get the axle shaft to go on the transmission I'll probably be ordering that and that was a lot, a lot cheaper. So that's my day so far. Basically heading to work and uh, one of the days that I probably could have worked for a little while until we got just a bunch of rain here. And seems like you get a couple days of drying and it rains and it shuts us down and just can't get nothing going. So I guess I'm working on the car today. Yeah, a good flat spot on my tire there, and then the rim's got a big old gash in it. It's not too deep, I don't think. The tire, I don't know. I just don't know. It'll probably be okay. Maybe I'll put it in the back. This is all apart. Here's your knuckle. I just put a wheel bearing in here not too long ago either. There's your knuckle. There's the bolts that broke. There's your lower ball joint and then up in there is where the axle shaft is at or the yeah CV axle shaft to the trans. Go on you dang cat. And uh yeah. I put the CV shaft back on it and it slid on, but the only problem I come up with here is there's a couple of holes in this boot 
and the grease is all pushed out of it now and probably I can probably slide it back together and probably last a while but I ain't gonna do that I'm just gonna get a new CV axle and I'll probably get a whole new knuckle there's no there's no drilling that out I don't think that's that's gonna be hardened steel and uh, just is what it is I got to get a new uh, ABS or speed sensor also because that one there I had to destroy it to get it out it was all rusted into here and that goes right here but otherwise I'll probably just get a new lower ball joint right away that one's kind of screwed up um, I don't know I might get an upper and then I'll have to get a new wheel bearing right away a new speed sensor and a CV axle and a knuckle and I should be good to go again but that's what it looks like I do a little bit of fender straightening too This car don't owe me nothing. It's just kind of sad that it happened. I've had it for quite a while, and you're running down rough roads and logging trails and whatever else. I guess something's bound to happen sometime. Kind of looking here and noticed it beat up my oil pan a little bit too, but I think that should be okay. I guess we'll find out. I got a little bit of straightening to do up there. There's a little ding in there I'll have to get out so that the shaft slides on good again. Yeah, yeah. Sitting here kind of thinking of everything else I might need for this because I got to put it back on the road right away. And I was thinking about just reusing that ball joint. But just got a little banged up going down the road. So I'm going to take and I just put a grip pliers on to loosen it up because the thing's all screwed up. You can't even get a wrench on it. But I'm going to get the nut off of there and I'll show you how to remove a ball joint. Get yourself a tie rod separator. Now get it out of there. Whoopsies. Anyways. There it is. That's how you do that. Just get a tie rod separator. A lot of times too you can just take and put a jack underneath there. Just bang on the bang on the assembly here that'll pop them out too but that's one way to do it Well, the old car is done. Got a little ding in the fender there, but it could be a lot worse. New tire, new lower ball joint, new wheel bearing, press the hub back in it, and uh, 
took her down the road straight as an arrow so we're good to go again for another hundred thousand maybe we'll see <laughs> oh yeah I forgot to add I got that knuckle I ordered that from a salvage yard locally they got it sent up from Indiana 50 bucks and I did put a new CV shaft in it because the other one was screwed the knuckle was busted off of it completely so there's no fixing that but anyways thought I'd mention that